Hello, Maddie here. How many different backgrounds can we count? <laughs> as much as I love Evan and his decorations, I don't want the Mandalorian in the back of my videos. So I have this background, which is the closet in the office. That purple side is actually chalk paint so that you can draw on it, but I don't really like the color. So well, we're going to do something creative with this background. Like, I don't know. I think I might just start drawing and painting on it and see what happens. We're very much figuring out what we want this to look like literally and I don't know, more metaphorically. I've gotten to the point where I've already written blogs on almost all of my favorite books. And so I'm super bummed that I can't make videos about books that already have blogs. So we are going to move towards only making videos, but blogs will come out every once in a while. You know, when I read an exceptionally good book, if I have kind of a side topic, I want to talk about something like that. And I'll let you guys know whenever that does happen. For this first one, we're going to talk about Just Listen by Sarah Dessen, which is my favorite Sarah Dessen book. It follows Annabelle and Owen and their unlikely friendship. Annabelle's going through a really hard time. She's experienced trauma and she doesn't really know what to do with it. She has spent her life. The thing is she doesn't lie. She just stays quiet. She omits the truth by not saying anything at all. And Owen is honest to a fault. What I like about him is he's not the like mean kind of honest because people are like, oh, you know, I'm just honest. It's like, no, you're mean and you're saying you're honest as an excuse to be mean. He is genuinely honest in that he holds himself to a high standard and he holds other people, especially the people close to him, to that same high standard of just honesty. Even if the the truth doesn't have to be pretty, but it has to be true and it has to be edifying. The goal has to be to build one another. The goal has to be to help you, to push you, to be there for you in a way that friends hopefully can be. And so Owen comes alongside Annabelle when she has nobody, and she doesn't understand anything, and he helps her see and understand what's going on in her life. And in preparation for this video, I was rereading my blog, and the point that I made that feels very poignant at the moment is how easy it is to stay quiet. It's not easy to lie, but it's really easy to just be silent it's really easy to make yourself as small as possible and pretend you don't exist and pretend that whatever the truth is isn't the truth because if you don't say it out loud, then maybe it's not true. And the other side of that is talking is exhausting and sometimes it's worth it and sometimes it's not. You know, I've spent hours, years on people and circumstances that were exhausting and only sometimes worth it. As I've gotten older, I've gotten better at realizing that not only is life work, but to live a life that is in any way full of just happiness and joy and fulfillment, you have to do the tiring things. And for me personally, that is simply talking. I find it exhausting. I find it exhausting to share myself with people. It's just so easy not to. But recently, I've made my new best friend. She and I have been talking a lot the last like week and a half. The first week that we had each other's numbers, we were sending like novels back and forth. And Evan and her husband both like, I'm a little bit jealous right now. <laughs> and then on Saturday, we hung out for like we hung out from like 2.30 to like 10 and just talked and talked and talked. And it was amazing. You know, we didn't get through all of either our life stories, but we got through a lot of it that will help us understand one another better, help us understand how we can help one another. And while talking is exhausting, it was just a reminder that it can be worth it. We talked and cried and laughed and gave advice and lots of really cool things. Um, there were so many 
just really cool moments of being like we could speak honestly to one another and kind of being able to bring an outside perspective to, to really difficult circumstances and say, hey, you know, maybe this or maybe think about this or maybe you could do this. And that was really helpful contrasting how easy it is to stay quiet but with how important it is to be honest, not just with others, but also with yourself. Because if you're quiet with others, I don't know if this makes sense, but you can be quiet with yourself too. You can not face things very easily and pretend they're not happening, even to yourself. But like I said, that life is going to be so empty and so surface level and shallow and you're going to get to the end of your day, the end of your week, the end of the year, the end of your life and realize you never did anything with anybody. You never had any true connections or friendships or just these beautiful, beautiful moments that aren't necessarily easy but are so worth it. I was originally thinking about this book in just the life's hard and we go through hard things. But if you're lucky enough, you can find people that can build you up and help you like Owen helps Annabelle. But with rereading my blog and just thinking about this last weekend, more than that, I want to encourage you to not be quiet. This is not just for the introverts and the people that don't talk. When I mean stay quiet, I mean not facing anything, not having conversations or friendships or relationships in general of value um, by staying quiet about the things that matter, the things that weigh heavily on your heart, the things that weigh heavily on your mind. Because if you don't talk about them, if you don't face them with others, you don't have to face them within yourself. You just can pretend they're not happening. And that can maybe feel good for a little while, but ultimately it's not going to be good because you're not going to have any real relationships or maybe they'll just fall apart really easily. You're not going to be able to get to the end of anything ever and feel like it was worth it. I just want to encourage you that I understand that talking is hard. Showing yourself to others is hard. I get that. Every day, I get that. If you have the courage to put yourself out there, you can make beautiful, beautiful friendships and relationships. And so that's what I want to encourage you with, that you would speak up and find those beautiful relationships that remind you that life's not easy for you. Life's not easy for them either, but we can come alongside one another and build one another up in ways that other things can't. You know, I love my cats. I love our dog. But they can't give me advice. They can't um, consult me or offer, you know, any real comfort besides cuddles, <laughs> which are not meaningless. But, you know, Annecy had a whole other video that the audio is messed up that I want on an entirely different topic off of this book and maybe I'll talk about that next time because I do want to talk about it but I think it deserves its own video I was going to try to fit it in but I don't think that would do it or myself justice um this video is probably going to be on the shorter side simply because we're re-recording because like I said I recorded this video already audio was messed up so we're doing it again I'm very tired I sat in almost an hour of traffic and I just I'm ready for my evening to be over. <laughs> so this is going to be a short video, um, which is better than no video, which I was very much contemplating. So <laughs> I would love it if you would like, comment, and subscribe to show me that I should keep making these videos, that even when the audio messes up, that it's worth it to keep putting out stuff for you guys to watch, listen to, etc. But if my videos are too slow for you, I recommend listening to me at 1.25 speed because I talk slow, which can be helpful, but 
I talk slow. I was trying to listen back to myself and I was like, oh my gosh, like talk faster. And I was like, oh, I can speed myself up. So I did. And it sounded better, at least to me personally. So if my videos are really slow for you, I'd maybe recommend doing that. I also just want to stop recording because I want to double check and make sure the audio is not messed up. But I hope that you speak up, that you find those people that are worth speaking up to. And to remember that you are worth it. So with all of that, I hope you have a great rest of your day. I hope you have a great night, a great week, a great weekend, a great month, a great year. I hope you have all the greats because you're truly worthy and deserving of them. So until next time, bye. You know, Tessie, bye.